Hello! In this video, we're looking at how to use a smartphone to test the sensitivity of fishing rods. With the help of gravity, dropping a small weight at the end of the line will recreate the sensation of a fish biting. The further the weight has to fall to trigger an alarm, the less sensitive the rod is. This is because the small weight picks up momentum the further it falls. To run the test, the first step is to install an app on your phone that monitors for earthquakes. I'm using an app for Android called Vibration Monitor. The second step is to set up a way to measure the distance the weight falls. I found it easiest to simply mark one inch increments on light braided line spooled on a reel. The third step is to tie a light object at the end of the rod. I'm using a number three split ring which weighs about one two hundredth of an ounce. You could also simplify the setup and simply tie or tape a line at the end of the rod with the small weights attached. However, this way of testing is less accurate to recreate a bite as the guides and reel are excluded. The fourth step is to mount a horizontal fishing rod holder and place the cell phone at the end of the rod above or in front of the reel. I keep the phone plugged in to help stabilize the phone while resting it squarely on the rod. The fifth step is to set the alarm in the app starting at 1, the most sensitive setting. The numbers are an approximation of the Richter scale. The phone will beep profuse, profusely until it settles. In this example, I'm testing two number eight hellbent rods. These rods are six foot medium spinning rods with a fast tip. One is a one piece rod and the other is two piece. By the testing, I hope to see just how much of a disadvantage from a sensitivity standpoint using a two piece rod is over a one piece. To check further, I weighed the rods. The two-piece rod weighs just a bit over 3.9 ounces. The one-piece surprisingly weighed a bit more at just at four ounces. Here I'm pasting some screenshots where you can see the cell phones with individual wavelengths from various tests. So to help demonstrate this further, I've recorded some video. The process of testing is rather boring, so I spelled it, sped it up about four times so you can see, um, get an idea of the uh, process. I gradually pull the line from the end of the rod, dropping it until I reach a point where the alarm sounds about three-fourths of the time. I make sure that the rod tip is still before each drop. After I determine how far the weight drops to trigger a one-inch earthquake, <laughs> I'll set the phone to two Richter scale alarm and repeat the same process. After a while from doing this, you can gather data between rods. And for the sake of demonstration, I've graphed the output comparing these two rods. From what I found, the phone is about as sensitive as my hand is, and so much if I set the alarm at a one Richter scale, I can barely feel a weight dropping a few inches. So looking at the results, you can see that at Richter scale one and two, the two-piece rod needed the weight to fall five inches compared to just three inches for the one-piece rod. To reach the number two alarm, the results were the same. However, as we go higher the, with the alarm thresholds, the performance between the two rods evens out. All in all, the Hellpent rod seems like a good buy as they compare to the more expensive rods that I've tested as far as sensitivity is concerned. Well, that's it for now. I plan on trying some new tests in the future. Thanks for watching.